Greetings. This evening I wrote a digital clock application in VHDL. Let me show it to you. Here is the Altera Terasic DE2 development board. Here, if the camera will focus properly, is my digital clock display. Notice when the seconds roll over, the minutes increase. We have hundreds of seconds on the right and hours 1 through 12 on the left. I have currently manually set this clock to have the same time as the official US standard time from time.gov. Of course, they use a uh, military time system, 0 through 23, uh, but of course 23 is the same as 11 p.m. So, you can see that, um, well, it's kind of hard to see them both at once, but you can see that the times are the same um, to within a second, and that the minutes are updating properly when the seconds roll over from 59 back to zero. Um, the input controls are there's a button that increases the hours, there's a button that increases the minutes, and there's a button that resets the seconds to zero. Uh, I can demonstrate this. So let me reset the seconds to zero. Right now, click. If I hold the button down, the seconds stay zero until I release it. I can increase the minutes with another button. And notice that when I increase the minutes manually, and it rolls over from 59 back to zero, it does not affect the hours. It took me a while to get that feature right. And then here's the hours. We can go to 12. If we hit this again, it'll wrap around and go back to 1, and so forth. So, everything works perfectly. It took me a little while to figure out how to do all that in VHDL, which is still a language I'm learning. But I did it, and it works. And my code is clean and simple and elegant. Well, pretty elegant. It could probably be improved a little bit. Well, that's it. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.